Good morning and welcome to Daily Worship. Glad you're joining us today. We're going to start out with Who You Say I Am and then we'll be singing I Am Set Free.
personally really love that song. It's such a great way to start the day. It's simple and just expresses the gratitude that we have for our freedom in Christ. And I think that's a great way to start any day remembering that. By the way, we've decided at this point that the fire alarm is a great addition to daily worship. So we're going to keep it. No, we're not. Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyway, today our Bible reading plan moves to the book of Ruth. Now, I've got to tell you, this particular book has made its way into my life so many times over the past year. And in just 83 verses, God has taught me a lot about myself and about who he is. And so I cannot recommend the book of Ruth to you enough. And I can just say that personally. In fact, if you haven't taken the plunge into the Bible reading plan yet or you're a little behind, it's okay. Today is a great day to catch back up, to start again with the book of Ruth. You can find the plan on the Bible app or on the web. It's called Word of God Speak Part 4 within the app. So I've got a question for you this morning. What do you do when you think no one is paying attention? Like when you're by yourself. All right, whoa, okay. I'm not trying to get to your deepest, darkest secret. So before you tap away, let me tell you what I mean. What I mean is, what do you just naturally do when you're going about your day? Have you ever thought about it? For me, I typically work on my computer from the office or my house trying to get some things done for students or I'll bounce back and forth between all the things that need to get done. Occasionally, I'll sit down at the piano at my house or pull out the guitar and play a song or two, maybe even try and write one. You know, it's just normal stuff. When I'm just sort of being who I am throughout the day, that's what I'm doing. And I'm sure that you have similar things too. You do the things you have to and the things you want to when you can. Most everyone here is the same in that way. We do things for ourselves and for those close to us, like our family and our friends. And that is totally awesome and totally normal and is absolutely appropriate in every way. But Ruth was wired differently. She was fiercely loyal, which she displays beautifully in the first chapter of Ruth. Despite having every reason to stay in her home country of Moab, she decides to accompany her new mother-in-law to Bethlehem and be with her. Not only that, but while in her new hometown of Bethlehem, which she knows no one there other than Naomi, by the way, she looks for work and begins to pick up grain, likely for herself and for Naomi. What Ruth doesn't realize at the time is that people have already noticed and taken account of her integrity and goodness toward Naomi. And one day, while she's gathering grain like she just is sort of normally doing throughout the day, a man named Boaz notices her, calls her over, and this is a paraphrase, but essentially says, look, you don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to do this hard labor. Why don't you come here with me? Anything you need, just ask for it, and I'll give it to you. You can have it. And Ruth is kind of caught off guard by this because she's a foreigner. She's not from Bethlehem. But yet this guy who has a lot is treating her very well. And she says, like, why? Why are you treating me like this? I really haven't done anything. Why do I deserve this favor? And Boaz replies to her in the verse I want to look at today. It's Ruth chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. And Boaz says this, I've been told all about what you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, how you left your father and mother in your homeland and came to live with people you did not know before. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. May you be richly rewarded by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. You see, Ruth's integrity and kindness has been noticed by Boaz and the others in the area. Although she didn't realize it at the time, people saw goodness and integrity and loyalty in her, even though it was in no way related to them. It was how she expressed it to Naomi, and by her example, they seemed to be inspired too. See, today you and I have a chance to step outside of our norm to take notice of the things that we're actually gonna do today. I'm fully confident that during the day today, you're going to encounter at least one scenario where you'll be able to show the kindness and integrity that Ruth displays to someone else. You'll have a chance to help someone in need, whether 
it's big or small. A chance to walk alongside someone who's in need of just a friend. So let's you and I, all of us, commit today to taking action when that situation arises. Regardless of how nervous it makes us feel or the small or large time investment it might take. We're not going to do it just to check off a box to say we've done something good, but rather to be a reminder to somebody that God is still good, He's still active, and He is still listening. What you may find is you not only helped the person that was right in front of you that you intended to, but someone else might take notice. And your integrity and kindness toward the original person might be exactly what the person you notice needs today too. So to that end, I hope we'll commit to that today, wherever you are. And I want to pray for us about it. God, we thank you for the example of Ruth and how we often don't know when people are watching us. It's safe to assume that somebody's always watching and not in some sort of mysterious way, but because they're looking for someone to help too. Lord, so when you put someone on our path today or um, something that we can positively impact with uh, kindness and integrity and goodness, may we first take the step to do it, have the courage to reach out and make it happen, whatever it is. And then, Lord, know that behind the scenes you're always working. And may we know that someone else who needs that might be watching too. God, we love you for how you've loved us. We worship you because you died for us and you rose again so that we could have life. And it is in your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you so much again for joining us. We will be doing this again tomorrow, 7.30. We will see you then.